All right, Fishaholics, so uh, tonight I'm gonna be doing some night inlet fishing. And uh, you know, it's October, I think 15th or 14th today. Not too sure of the date, but um, recently there's been a couple of good, you know, decent daytime blitzes here at the inlet. And uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe there's gonna be some big bass or just bass period, cruising around the inlet, looking for an easy snack. And uh, it's almost a full moon. Like if I was to turn the light off, I'll turn the light off real quick. You can see how bright it is out here. Got the moon shining really bright up in the sky there. You probably can't see it that well. The GoPro really can't film too well in low light conditions, but uh, that's why I got my GoPro camera light. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's try and find some fish. I'm gonna start off throwing around this uh, tsunami holographic weighted eel, and uh, I've never fished with it before, so it's gonna you know it's gonna be pretty interesting to see if it actually catches some fish. And uh, you know I also have some swim baits, some darters. SP minnows, variety of different good fish catching stuff that uh, hopefully you'll catch me some nice stripers. Let's find some fish. All right, well, I think that should be good. You know, let's try and find some fish, I guess. Really nice night out here. I, ha I have like a southeast wind. So I'm sitting on the west side of the jetty here. Wind's blowing over the top of my head and uh, you know I'm kind of comfortably just out of the wind. Got some good clear water in front of me. If there's some fish here I definitely should get at least one or two. It's just figuring out what they're gonna hit. That's uh, you know the puzzle here. Alright guys, I just hooked up with a fish and uh, you know, I, I, t I made a move to a little bit shallower spot and uh, you know, I felt like I was out a little bit too deep trying to get my other camera set up so I can capture this fish here. Feels like a pretty good fish. He just smoked the uh, holographic eel. And uh, like I said, I moved a little bit shallower. And I think that was key. You know, I think I was out a little bit too deep. And, uh, you know, that's what uh, your stripers love moving shallow, you know, at, you know, in the dark. They'll be in a foot of, a foot of water, you know. Pretty good sized fish here, too. Might be close to a keeper. Now I just gotta get down there and uh, try and get him up. There you have it right there, guys. Man, that's probably about a 30 inch fish right there. 30 inch bass on the Tsunami Holographic Eel. Right there. Woo! Gorgeous fish. Real skinny fish, but um, 
you know, that's why she was looking for this eel right there. Looking for something big to eat. And uh, <laughs> I tricked her. I got her. Let me give you a, a better look here. I can't really see where my camera's at. But heck yeah, nice fish. Woo! There he goes. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, you know, I missed the hook set for you guys, but maybe I'll get, get into a few more fish and, uh, you know, I can get the hook set. Tonight the moon is so bright. I'm only fishing in about two, three feet of water. If a striper swims by me, I could probably see him cruising because, you know, there's so much light out here today. Oh, just had a bite. Really shallow, too. That was probably only like a foot of water. Nothing too big, but, you know, it was a fish. Oh, just had a bite. Two hits in a row. Cast after cast. Bait looks good. Definitely a striper. If it was a bluefish, you'd probably be chopping it in half. Oh, there was another hit. Three casts in a row, guys, and I had a hit. I'm gonna switch to a small little swim bait, and uh, maybe that'll work. I'll get an idea how small these stripers are. Something like that might work. You know, it's a lot smaller than that uh, big holographic eel that I was throwing. There he is, got him. Had a feeling I'd get him on the swim bait. This actually feels like a pretty decent fish. Feels pretty heavy. Might be a small borderline keeper. Probably gonna have to go down and get him. Oh my gosh, this is sick right now. I wish I, I, w I, wish I could show you this. The fish that I have on has like five or six other stripers following him. That's just, that's just how bright it is out here because of the moon. I can see the other fish following my other striper. I gotta go down and get this fish. Be right back. Not a bad bass right there. Just look at how he choked that swim bait. <laughs> Fish absolutely choked it. You know they're feeding good when they're pretty much eating the entire thing. All right, well that swim bait definitely worked. I'm probably gonna take a few more casts and uh, you know, hopefully connect with a few more fish. And uh, then I kinda wanna switch back to the holographic eel. Even though it's a bigger profile and I probably will catch less fish, I'll probably catch larger fish with that eel. So, you know, hopefully I can catch a few more on this and then I'll switch over. I caught that second fish, you know, in only about like a foot and a half, two feet of water. So I might have to wait until the, you know, the stripers regroup and kind of, uh, you know, calm down because after you catch a fish in really shallow water, sometimes that, you know, riles up all the fish and uh, they get all excited and, you know, they won't bite for, you know, five, ten minutes or so. The tide also might have something to do with it. It's getting to uh, be about low tide pretty soon and, uh, you know, maybe the fish will start feeding again or maybe they'll be a little bit more aggressive once the uh, tide starts coming in a little bit or flooding a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working, I guess, along the jetty until I find one. 
or two or a couple more before I call it. Might have to switch back to the eel. That might, uh, oh, there he is. Never mind. I think maybe that it's just like there's a small pack of fish kind of just roaming around this little area here. And, uh, you know, for a while they were sitting to the left of me in the corner between the jetty and the beach. And, uh, you know, I just threw right on top of a school. And as soon as the swim bait hit the water, I took like two turns with the reel. With the reel and, uh, you know, this nice fish hit it. All right, I'll be right back. Got to go down and get them. Jeez, guys, this fish ate it as deep as the other fish did. Look how deep he ate that. <laughs> They're definitely liking the swim bait. Nothing huge, but hey, it's a fish. Let's get him back in the water. Contemplating switching back to the flatback shad swim bait. Call more fish on it. And, uh, you know, it's a smaller profile, easier for these fish to eat. And uh, it seems like whenever I get a bite on this uh, holographic eel, a lot of times, you know, they're short bites because the, the fish are short, you know, they're smaller size fish. And, um, you know, there's probably not too many larger size fish here. There might be, I mean, you know, there could be, but I have a feeling that the mass of fish that are here probably, you know, under keeper size fish. Oh, that's a pretty good fish. Just hooked into a really good fish here, guys. Oh, he's ripping drag. Oh, it's a nice fish. Hopefully I can get him in before my camera light dies. This fish just smoked the eel. Absolutely smoked it. All right, I'll be right back. Gotta go down and get him. Woo! All right, guys. It's wrapped all around my rod here. Oh, hang tight there, bud. Probably about a borderline keeper right there. Yeah, definitely a keeper-sized fish.